Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions asking about getting raid ready as soon as you hit 60 for classic. Um, so I wanted to make a quick guide just showing your pre-raid best in slot gear for phase one. Um, as a rep paladin, you're already going to have to overcome a lot of stigma. Most people don't want you in the group to begin with. So you're going to have to damn well do your best to get the best gear you could possibly get before going into the raid to, you know, stand your own. Um, so, yeah, this is going to show some different items that you can get, a uh, diff couple different options, as well as trying to avoid a couple of those very expensive items that will be your pre-raid best in slot uh, that you can eventually get but as far as uh, phase one goes um, these will be some fairly good equivalent options or you know close to at least so uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it Alrighty, guys starting off from the helmets uh, the lionheart helm is going to be your best in slot for a while um it's 18 strength, 2% crit, 2% hit, so this is perfect for what you're looking for for DPS. However, at the launch of Classic, it's going to be very expensive and probably a little rare. It might not pop up for a little while. Um, and yeah, I know you're probably not going to want to spend all your money just on this. Um, so this might be something for you later down the road when you're able to save up some money, get some, um, be able to get in some raids at some point. Uh, however, this will be the best. Um, uh, the second option for you, something easier to get, will be the Mask of the Unforgiven. Uh, this is off of a rare from Stratholm. Uh, it has 12 stam, 2% hit, and 1% crit, so it's got the stats you're looking for. Um, this is a pretty good option for you right there. And then uh, moving down to the third option would be the Eye of Rend. This is a decent one as well. It's lacking the hit chance. However, it does have 2% crit, so that's pretty strong right there, as well as having 13 strength. Uh, this is off of the Warchief uh, Rin Blackhand from Blackrock Spire. And then uh, a, a decent option for you as well it would be the Crown of Tyranny. If you couldn't get any of the other ones, you can roll with this. It's got 20 Stam, however you lose 10 Spirit. Um, but it does have 40 Attack Power and 1% Crit. So that crit chance that you're looking for uh, is going to be right there for you. And then another decent option would be the Shadowcraft Helm. Um, this is actually has 20 Agi, 18 Stam, and 13 Strength. Um, the, the agility on this one and the Strength kind of make up for it, so it's going to give you a little bit of crit chance, a little bit of uh, attack power, so a decent option for you well if you couldn't get any of the other ones. All right, so moving on to Necklaces. Uh, Mark of Forging is going to be probably your best option here. It's got 1% chance to crit and 26 attack power. This is off of a quest chain from Western Plaguelands. Uh, moving on from that one, we have the Imperial Jewel. Uh, this is off of uh, Emperor, um, Emperor from the last boss in uh, Blackrock Depths. This has 32 attack power and 7 stam. It's a decent option. It is lacking that crit chance that you're looking for and hit chance, but it, it's a decent uh, bit of attack power for you. And then another option for you would be the Ember Fury Talisman. Uh, this has 8 Stam, 5 Spirit, 7 Fire Resist, which is nice for Molten Core, and then has 1% crit chance. So you're going to be stacking that crit as much as possible. All right, so for shoulders, we're going to go with the True Strikes uh, shoulders. These are going to be highly, highly contested. Uh, they're pretty much pre-raid best in slot for most DPS, melee DPS classes. So you're going to have rogues going for it. You're going to have hunters going for it, warriors. Um, so it's going to be tough to get. However, uh, if you do, it's great. It has 2% hit chance as well as 24 attack power. This is off Pyroguard Ember Seer in Blackrock Spire. All right, and then moving down, we have the Black Dragon Scale Shoulders. Uh, these are pretty decent option as well. Um, this has uh, 9 Stam, 6 Fire Resist, and 40 Attack Power, so it's a good chunk of Attack Power. Uh, it doesn't have Crit, however, uh, the Set Bonus does give you, uh, if you get 2 pieces, will give you 1% Hit Chance, and if you get 3, you'll have 2% Extra Crit Chance. So, it's a pretty decent option. Um, this is nice for Molten Core. It is male, so it's, you're not wearing leather. Be a little bit tankier, um, however... Uh, I'm not totally sure if the set bonuses will be in from the start. Uh, I'll have to check on that, but um, from what I know, uh, it by itself, 40 attack power is a decent option if you weren't able to get the true strike. And then uh, from there, we have some plate shoulders, the Worm Slayer Spalders. These are just a world drop. 
you're more than likely going to be able to find them on the auction house. Um, they're pretty decent. They're not they're not going to be the best, but they they can hold hold the place for uh, meanwhile while you replace it. Um, but it's going to have 12 strength, tw uh, 12 stamina, and eight agility. So decent option for you right there. And then uh, another option for you could be the uh, Spalders of Valor, the Dungeon uh, Set One for Warriors. Um, these are pretty decent um, and not the, not the best. It's still lacking that crit or hit that you're looking for, but it does have a good chunk of stamina, has 11 strength, and then 9 agility. So that's going to be a decent option for you as well. And then um, there's another uh, set of shoulders from High Lord Omok and Blackrock Spire, uh, Lower Blackrock Spire actually. Um, this one's going to give 20 attack power, so not quite as good as the dragon, uh, the black dragon plate, but uh, it, it'll make do for now. Alrighty, and for chest plates, we're going to go with the Death Dealer Breastplate. This is off the Chest of the Seven from Blackrock Depths. This is going to give you 8 stam, 8 strength, and 2% crit, so a really good option for you, that crit that you're looking for. And then we're going to move down to uh, the Tombstone Breastplate. This is a very good option as well. 10 Strength, 10 Stam, 2% Crit. This is from Darkmaster Gandling from Skolomance. Uh, this is going to be a pretty strong option for you as well. Uh, if you weren't able to get one of those, a uh, pretty strong option for you is going to be the Cadaverous Armor. This has 8 Strength, 8 Agility, and 60 Attack Power. So a good chunk of Attack Power is lacking that crit that you're looking for, but the Attack Power is decent enough to, to make it work for you. And then another option would be the Night Brace Tunic. This is 5 Agility, so a little bit of crit chance, uh, barely, barely any though, but then 50 Attack Power, so a, a decent option. And then stacked on that is a little bit of resistance for Fire and Shadow, so can help you out with resisting some of that stuff. Um, your overall, your pre-raid best in slot will be the Savage Gladiator Chain. However, it's a very low chance to drop. This is off of uh, Garrosh the Dervish in Blackrock Depths. Um, this is 13 stamp, 14 agility, 13 strength with 2% crit. So this is perfect for pre-raid, except for the fact that it is a very low chance to drop. So you're a little bit better off looking for the other ones and hope uh, to getting one of those over this one. Um, this is, I, I don't highly suggest farming it. it it is possible but if you uh want to go for it then totally go for it if you're trying to be all out try hard you know sweaty neck beard then go for it all right and so for the chest this is you're gonna aim for the cape of the black baron uh this is off baron rivendare in Strathholm. this gives 15 agility and 20 attack power so this is going to be pretty much your best option for your cape uh, another decent option is a uh, stone skin gargoyle cape uh, this one's off of Stonespine in Stratholm. This gives 8 agility, eight, uh, 7 strength, and 14 stamina. So a pretty strong option for a cape if you weren't able to get the Black Riven Dare one. Alright, so now moving down for your bracers. Uh, your best in slot is going to be the Battleborn Arm Braces. This is a very nice item. It's got the 1% hit and 1% crit, so both the stats you're looking for. This is off Warchief Ren Blackhand from Blackrock Spire. Uh, if you weren't able to get those, another option for you would be the Van Braces of the Sadist. This is from Timmy the Cruel. Um, he actually drops this, and it's a decent item. It's got 7 stam, 6 strength, and 1% crit. It's a plate as well, so pretty good option for you. Uh, if you're still, uh, if you still weren't able to get one of those, there is a quest you can do uh, from Blackrock Spire that will give you the Blink Strike Arm Guards. This is 3 strength and 1% crit, so pretty strong option right there if you weren't able to get one of the other ones. Uh, if you're lacking some uh, hit chance, the Slash Cob Bracers are a nice um, nice option to pick up. They have 7 agility as long as, as long with 1% um, hit chance. So those are from Halicon from Blackrock Spire as well. Pretty good option. And then a uh, decent option as well would be the Black Mist Arm Guards. These are from the Beast. Uh, this 13 stam, 5 strength with 1% hit. So a really strong option if you're still lacking that hit chance. And then a decent option has some overall decent stats would be the Lord, uh, the Lordly Arm Guards. Uh, these kind of cover all stats, which as a paladin you can actually make use of. So um, you might be able to find this on the um, auction house for a decent price because a lot of the times um, items like these where they have just all of the stats thrown in there uh, aren't typically very popular. But however, if you're still looking to fill that slot, this can be an okay option for you. It's got 7 Strength, 8 Spirit, 8 Stam, 7 Intellect, and 7 Agility. So overall, not too bad. Increase your mana pool by a tiny bit and give that crit chance a little bit up as well. 
Uh, another option for you would be the Shadowcraft Bracers. These have high agility, so 15 agility and 7 stam is going to be a decent option for you as well. So for your gloves, your Devil Sword Gauntlets will be your pre-raid best in slot. However, in the beginning of the patch, they might be super pricey. Um, they are from leatherworking. You're going to have to, uh, you know, there might be a Devil Sword Mafia already happening, but you can do your best to try to pick these up. If you happen to have uh, skinning or you uh, know a leather worker, they could possibly help you out make these for you. But um, picking them off the auction house is going to be a very hefty toll. Um, these do have 9 stam, 28 attack power, and 1% crit chance, so very strong. If you get that 2 set bonus as well, adding another 2% hit, that's just what makes the cherry on top for this set very strong. Another option for gloves, if you weren't able to get the Devil Soar, you can pick up the Reaver Claws off of uh, Overlord Wormthalock in uh, Blackrock Spire. This has 15 stam, 9 strength, as well as 1% crit chance. Another option would be the Skull's Finger uh, Fingerbone Claws. Uh, this is off of Skull in Stratholm. This gives 10 stam and then 40 attack power, so a decent chunk of attack power. This option is not so bad as well. Um, this is a world drop. It's a level 37 epic um, that has 1% chance to crit, 20 attack power, and then 30 attack power when fighting undead. If you weren't able to pick these up, they might be kind of expensive. Um, I won't. I don't suggest looking out for them exactly, but if you happen to have them, or maybe you can get them for very cheap, this might be a decent option for you too. All right, now starting off with the belts, Omox Girth Restrainer is a decent option for you. It's got 15 strength, 9 stam, and 1% crit. This is off of a quest from Blackrock Spire as well. Uh, another good option would be the Cloud Runner's Girdle, 15 agility and 14 strength. This is off of Quartermaster's uh, Zigris from Blackrock Spire, so this is going to be a strong belt for you to pick up. Uh, Girdle of uh, Bestial Fury is a nice option for you, 8 strength, 10 stam, 30 attack power off of the Eviscerator in Blackrock Depths. This is, might be an easier one for you to pick up if you couldn't get any of the other ones. All right, and another option for you will be Brigham's Girdle. This is 15 strength, 15, uh, 16 stamina, excuse me, and then 1% chance to hit. So this is a pretty strong waste if you can pick this one up. This is off General Drekasath from Blackrock Spire. Then moving down to the Handcrafted Mastersmith Girdle. This is a pretty decent option for you as well. This is from Gorlock Anvil Crack from Blackrock Spire. 11 strength, 10 stam, and 10 agility. So a decent option for you to pick up if you weren't able to get one of the other ones. All right, now moving down to legs. So the Cloudkeeper leg plates are going to be a pretty good option for you. Uh, however, they are a world drop and they are an epic, so they can be very, very expensive. Um, if you happen to like get them by chance as you're requesting or whatever, um, then awesome. If not, I wouldn't exactly seek them out. There are some other okay options for you that you can fill that slot and not feel too um, too down on it. Uh, the Cloudkeeper leg plates are pretty cool. They have 20 stam, 20 strength, 20 agility, and then they have an on use effect, which increases your attack power by 100 for 30 seconds. So pretty strong for um, for your pre-raid best in slot. Um, however, you can get some decent options, such as the Devil Sword Leggings. These are actually really good as well. They have 12 stamp, 46 attack power, and 1% crit chance. Uh, this is going to be the same problem with the gloves, is that they come from leatherworking with Devil Sores. Uh, they're going to be very expensive, as these are pre-raid best in slot as well for other classes. Um, however, if you are able to get them, you get that 2 set bonus. That 2% hit is going to be huge. Then we can move down to the Blade Master uh, leggings. These are going to be a pretty decent option for you. Um, they have five agility on them, as well as one percent hit, one percent crit, and then two percent dodge. Um, the dodge doesn't really matter, but these are off the beast from Blackrock Spire. They're going to be pretty pretty good option for you if you still need to fill that hit cap or that crit that crit that you're looking for. And then moving down to the handcrafted master smith leggings these are actually pretty strong as well uh, they are lacking the crit that you're looking for but uh, how they do have 29 strength so a ton of strength on them which is going to be a nice bit of attack power for you um, and as well as having 12 stamina these are from uh, gorlock anvil crack as well and then another option for you are the storm shroud pants these are from Le leatherworking as well so they could be pretty pricey um however if you know someone who can make them for you uh it's a not a bad option with two percent crit chance all right and so for boots we're going to use the battle chasers greaves 
these are a really strong option. However, they are a world drop, um, so you'll have to look for them on the auction house, or you know, just hopefully you run across them. Maybe a guildy can pick them up, like find them for you. Um, however, uh, they are going to be pretty strong. 13 agility, 14 strength, and 8 stam. So a decent option for you right there. Uh, if those were too expensive, uh, kind of the downgraded version of that would be um, Zephyron Scale Boots. These are probably going to be kind of expensive as well, um, but sometimes you're able to pick them up. You know, sometimes you see some posted on the auction house for a decent price and you're able to grab them. Might not be a, a too bad of a choice. These have 9 agility, 14 strength, and 14 stamina. Moving towards the uh, some of the other options you can pick up, uh, the Rib Steel Foot Guards. These are pretty decent as well. They have 10 Strength, 17 Stam, and 10 Agility. These are off Arak Doomhow from Blackrock Spire. And then uh, another option, if you're looking for it, you can put these off of Helicon uh, from Blackrock Spire. It's 14 Stamina and 40 Attack Power. So a decent chunk of Attack Power right there. So if you weren't able to get the other ones, then this can be an option for you. All right, and so going into the jewelry. So for rings, Blackstone Ring will be your pre-raid best in the slot. It's got six stam, 20 attack power, and 1% chance to hit. This is from Princess from Maradon. Uh, you, this isn't too difficult to get because it is a little bit of a lower level dungeon. Um, a lot of times you actually have people selling runs where they can get you to the end and help, help you farm this. You just have to buy it off of them. Uh, or you can just keep queuing up and going in there yourself. Um, not a bad choice as well. And then for your second ring, you want to go for like Painweaver Band is a good option. It's got 7 Stam, 1% Crit, and 16 Attack Power. This is off of General Dragasath from Blackrock Spire. Pretty good option for you. A decent option for right here would be Magni's Will. It's got 6 Strength, 7 Stam, and 1% Crit. This is from a quest called The Princess's Surprise from Blackrock Depths. Um, this is a, a little bit of a lower level item, uh, but if you weren't able to fill that slot again, uh, this is the Assault Ban. It's got 7 Stam, 5 Spirit, and 20 Attack Power. It's another World Drop, so um, it could be expensive, but uh, again, if you're, if you're still trying to fill those, those items, then this could be something to pick up for you. Alrighty, and so for trinkets, there's pretty much two options. Uh, there's not much more. It's going to be the Hand of Justice, which is a 2% uh, chance on hit to gain one extra attack, and also gives you 20 attack power. So this is off Emperor. So you're going to see a lot of people looking for this, warriors, rogues, um, even sometimes hunters, but... You really want to try to get this item, so do your best to farm as much as you can. Do those Emperor runs, the Lava runs, and try to get try to get this item. Uh, it's going to be really, really strong for you. All right, and then the the uh, bread to your butter this is going to be your Black Hand's Breath. Uh, this says you increase your chance to crit by 2%. This is from a quest chain. Um, really, really strong item. Uh, you're not going to replace this for a long time as well. So these are the two you're going to look for. There are some kind of odd trinkets here and there that you could use, but these are pretty much the ones you're going to want to use for the most part. All right, now so let's talk about weapons. So you want something that's slow as possible. So... Uh, something like the Arcanite Reaper is going to be really, really strong for you. It's got really good top-end damage. It's a 3.8 speed, so it's right in that sweet spot that you're looking for. It's got 13 stamina and 62 attack power. However, this can be a very expensive item. Um, you're going to have to uh, find a blacksmith that knows the pattern, or you're going to have to learn blacksmithing yourself, and hopefully you get the pattern. And then finding all the, uh, you know, the materials to make this item, it's going to be pretty costly. So um, that being said, if you can get this, please do. It is, it's going to be awesome until you replace it with a raid item. However, um, I'll give you some other options here that you can use. Uh, so the Nicker is a pretty strong option as well. It's got that super slow 4.0 attack speed with to high top end damage. Overall DPS is a little bit lower, but Rep Paladins, you really want that slow attack speed to get those Seal of Command procs going off more. Um, this does have a proc uh, chance on it, which in dungeons is not going to be a big deal. However, in raiding, if you're in a group and you know there's only so many uh, debuff slots and they really don't want the, the Nicker proc to be taking up one of those, it can push off a, an important uh, debuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be one of your better options but um you know like be wary of that so just just take note and try to pay attention to that 
A decent option for you as well is the Black Hand Doomsaw. Uh, this is a pretty decent item. It is a little bit quick, a tiny bit quick uh, from what you want. However, um, it's 3.5. It has high uh, DPS as well as a high top end damage. And then the proc chance on this actually sometimes, depending, I think can make this worth it to pick up. Uh, this uh, chance on hit to wound the target for 324 to 541 damage can actually crit. Uh, if that does crit, it actually procs your vengeance. So um, it's a pretty decent option for you if you're still looking to, re uh, you know, to replace your weapon from questing. All right, and so another option for you would be the Dreadforge Retaliator. This is a decent option. Uh, it's got 1% chance to crit, 30 attack power, 1% chance to parry, which, you know, for PvP can possibly be decent, uh, um, or for out there, you know, in the world, uh, leveling or questing or, you know, farming, it can, it can be okay. But for uh, pre-raid, it's not going to be the best. Um, it does have a decent speed on it, so 3.7 is going to be, you know, kind of in that area that you're looking for. So a decent option for you. All right, and then so I have some kind of interesting ones that um, people, you know, if 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 you happen to find this while you're leveling up, or you can find it on the auction house at a pretty decent price, if you pick up Destiny uh, with uh, and you're able to throw Crusader on that, I know that's going to be a very expensive enchant early on. However, uh, this can be an okay option. Um, I know it's not going to be as good as the slower attack speeds. I know a, a bunch of you are going to yell at me saying, oh, no, you need to, you know, the 3.8 attack speed or 4.0. However, uh, if you weren't able to get one of those, this isn't the worst thing. So it can hold you over until you do get one of those uh, slower attack speeds. And just the uh, strength increase, if you get that 200 strength proc plus a Crusader proc, that's 300 strength. That's a lot of attack power. So it can work for you. All right, now here's an interesting one for you. This is the Black Blade of Sharam. So this is a very low chance to drop, like one, one or two percent, I believe, off of General Dracosath from Blackrock Spire, the last boss. Um, this is going to be a pretty good option for you. A lot of people actually don't know about this weapon. Uh, the the chance to drop is so low that most people don't really know about it. However. Um, it has a really cool chance on hit, as well as a 3.5 attack speed, which is a decent decent range for what you're looking for. Uh, it's still not the best, but um, I think, honestly, sometimes the procs on this can outweigh the, um, the overall DPS. Uh, so when this procs, it actually procs a little um, infernal spirit to pop up and he casts uh, some, uh, some random spells. Um, one of those in which is increased stats by 50 for, I believe, 30 seconds. Uh, and that can actually stack. So I've seen it stack multiple times. So uh, so imagine that as like kind of a half a crusader. So as long as, it, as well as having 50 strength, you're going to have 50 agility, 50 int, 50 spirit. So overall, very strong. Uh, another proc on it is to increase your attack speed. So that's an okay proc. It's not the best for a rep paladin, but still just overall increase in damage. Um, as well as it has a flame strike, so that'll cast a flame strike on yourself, dealing AOE damage around you, which is pretty nice for a rep paladin. As you, you know, your only source of AOE is going to be your um, your uh, consecration. Lost my train of thought there. Sorry. Uh, so. It's going to be a nice option. I'm not totally sure if it scales with spell damage. I've been testing this on some servers, and so far, this item seems a little buggy. So um, I haven't been able to figure out if it does or not, but if it does, that'll be even better. Um, another proc that it gets, it actually gives you a nice uh, mana per five regen effect for, I believe, 30 seconds as well. So uh, being a paladin, sometimes mana is an issue, and this can be super helpful. So that being said, that's a decent option for you as well. I mean, once again, this is a super low chance, so it's not likely to happen. But if you do get it, if you do see it drop, please go for it. You're going to be one of those few classes that actually can use it. Um, for the most part, warriors are going to be wanting to do wield, and so if you're able to grab that and bring that into rating, it might not be a bad option. So there we go. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns with my list of items, I tried to cover most things. Um, I might be missing a few things. Um, but that being said, thank you so much for watching. Um, look forward to some new videos coming out soon. I'm planning on doing 
um, some leveling guides uh, to prepare everyone for the launch, as well as uh, I might have a video on consumables and stuff that you're going to be looking for uh, as a rep paladin. So uh, stay tuned. And once again, thank you so much. Please hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy my content. And see you next time.